Hey, what's going on guys? More Medic One today. We've got a little uh, golf cart that I need to go take a look at. I'm gonna put a picture right up here. This is the text message I got uh, last night around five o'clock. We, heck, I was already home and they're texting me to come work on stuff. <laughs> so I texted them this morning and said, I'm on my way. But I don't know, you can't really tell from the pictures uh, if it's anything burn up motor wise. Uh, he's adamant that all it needs is a new My connector. Goodness. That thing is burnt to a crisp, ain't it? I think I've got enough wire here coming out of the control box to be able to cut me off. Oh, I get past this burnt spot right here and we're gonna install a new connector. Uh-oh, guys. It looks a little bit different, doesn't it? Let me show you what happened. This thing got so hot. Now, these are stainless nuts and the studs are copper. And these go straight down into the, the motor windings and the field windings, field one, field two, and your positive and negative for your uh, battery connections. But it got so hot that it literally welded itself to the stud, the nut, as you can tell, that thing got red hot. And here's the connector. So this repair is going to be beyond my skill level. I'm not going to go inside this motor and try to rebuild this. We're just going to have to either uh, you know, sub this out. We're going to have to go get it re, you know, re, rebuilt or possibly even a new one uh, just because of a loose connection. Now, mind you, these carts are about nah, 10 years old or so. So, I mean, it got, you know, really good life out of it. But it's just one of those things that you run into. That thing got hot, hot, hot. These club car motors are so super simple to remove. It's just one bolt here and then three, one, two, three here. And it just slides on a spline shaft right there. The female portion of the motor basically just slides over the male portion of the transmission here, as you can tell. But you want to also and make sure that this portion of your transmission is not you know scalloped out worn out this can actually get worn in here if it gets a little slack in between the the two connections but other than that like i said it's just one two three yeah one two three and then, then one bolt right here and it just you got plenty of room to work with it just slides right out we'll have to fix this wire and then you have just one connector here to unplug and that weather pack looks like it might be compromised so we'll have to i'm going to go ahead and replace the seal for the weather pack connector here well guys you win some and you lose some i'll keep you guys updated whether or not i get this thing uh you know looked at at the motor shop or if we just order one from club car we'll see you guys on the next one